Maetiala to Governor Otom, you are torn in full and his flesh. You know, they say these things and the Inspector General of Police do not invite them to ask them, what do you mean by that word of threat to a sitting governor? That is a sitting democratically elected governor in Nigeria. That is a governor who is both people voted in, declared by INEC that he won that election. And this word that Maeti Allah has said is rather a threat. But guess what? Nobody will pay attention to it. As a matter of fact, a couple of days ago, precisely not up to three weeks, the governor was in his farm. We all know of how he was almost assassinated, if not God Almighty who saved him. The governor had to even go to a church, go to the redeemed camp to say thank you to God. And guess what? This is the leader of Maeti Allah. Release, and they released a statement that they were responsible. Do you know up until now, no lead has been followed, no one has been brought to justice because Nigerian government, Buhari is a Fulani man, protect and preserve only his people. No other tribe in Nigeria matters to him. And this by committing atrocity, now the leader of Maiti Allah is saying to Otom, the governor of Benue State, you are a ton in our flesh. What do you do to a ton? You try to, if he's giving you discomfort, you want to get rid of it any way possible can. Is that not a threat? I asked a question. Guys, leave us a comment. Uh, please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Let's get all the details. My Allah to Governor Otom, you are a ton in full and his flesh. Alaji Bello Deboji is the president of My Allah, Ketul Hall. A full and is cultural organization. In an interview, he registered his displeasure with the level of hate his people have received from the Benue state government, he explained. Benue Governor Samuel Otom openly accused your association of trying to assassinate him. Is this allegation true? The allegation is unacceptable to us, and we deny thoroughly. We have gone through, uh, we, are, we have demanded a thorough investigation to unravel the true situation. We have used all available media platforms to inform Nigerians we, we were never behind the alleged attempt assassination of governor, but he has continued to shout out to the world that our people are behind the assassination attempt. The governor alleged that you and your people heard a meeting in Adamawa on that matter. Is it true? Yes, we heard meeting in Adamawa a few days before that incident. But the meeting focused on how to change the bad image and perception of Fulani people in Nigeria. At the meeting, we encouraged them to do good to people so that our image across Nigeria can be redeemed. As leader of the association, we seriously sensitize our people on the need to be law-abiding. Irrespective of the provo provocations, we want to make our tribe and ethnic group to know our importance and know that we are not troublemakers, even though some bad ones among us are being corrected. Did you discuss anything about Otom during the meeting in Adamawa? Like I said, our meeting focused on how to change the bad image and perception that people have about the Fulanese. The meeting we had expressly represented from expressly expressly represented from government, security agencies, traditional institutions, and other stakeholders. After the meeting in Yula, Adamawa State. We had an agenda for our people on how to strengthen peace among themselves and other people. But we were surprised that shortly after our meeting on peace building in Adamawa, Benwe, Governor Otom, who is presiding over a state with different tribes and ethnic groups, alleged that our Adamawa meeting was to discuss how to destabilize his state and, public, and possibly assassinate him. This untrue, this that's untrue and should be disregarded. He's used to speaking against us, inciting his people against us, so we are surprised. Why do you think he was doing that? It has to do with us taking him to court over the anti-open anti grazing law, which is signed in Benway State some years ago. That's the only thing that joined us with the governor. The court case is still on, and we are hopeful that the case will end in our favor. Otom alleged allegations are weighty and it's attracted the attention of the federal government to the point that delegations are sent to Benway. 
but efforts are being uh, efforts are you making to exonerate yourself Otom is obviously using his executive power to oppress harass and intimidate us he has reported repeatedly displaced open hate for our people and his vow not to allow us to have peace or do our trade we should be the ones accusing Otom of trying to take us off the surface of the earth through his through his exclusive action he has chased us out of benway state through the anti-open grazing law his task force officer sees our cattle abruptly in the name of ban on the open grazing in the last three months our people have spent 87 million as fine for open grazing and we have received five thousand fine is placed on each cow arrested for open grazing. Our people are forced to sell cattle to bail the arrested ones. We are cost we are accustomed of Fulani tradition. Mm-hmm. Not only that, we are to ensure that our people are living peacefully with their host community. Our reason for going to court was to demand reversal of the anti grazing law, open grazing law in the state. You recently said there is no other Fulanese in Benway State. Yes, I can t- confirm to you that there is no Fulani in Benway State since the enhancement of anti grazing open grazing law. Fulani people have left Benway to other location. All the Fulanese have been arrested in Benway, uh, passbys, all the ones that bo- uh, are from the border communities in Nasarawa and Taraba states and other states. What are you doing to ensure that people, that your people escape from the bad perception? We are living in a country with laws and order. Our people are being persecuted across the country through unfriendly legalization, physical and verbal attack. And you, can, and you can't expect them to keep quiet. For instance, Benny Governor has taken pleasure in inciting his people against us, as we can see in the kind of treatment we get from Benway people. Otom has become a thorn in our flesh. He follows us when, if, everywhere we go and ensure that we have we are not found around Benway. He has camp, he has championed propaganda against us, and we will ensure he will never succeed. In all of this, we are peaceful to achieve and possibly best outcome. You heard it yourself that he has become a thorn in their flesh and they are waiting for him. It might, is this word not mine? This is an interview which he responded to. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.